really tough time for them. And I think her doing that is important. And I think him doing it in the first place, day after day, year after year, the originality of each one, and he had this constant desire to share and bond with her, that's why this is the best relationship book. Because that's how the best relationships should be. Do we write letters very often anymore? We don't. Although we should. We probably should. People like them. Our collective penmanship has gone to hell. Um, Do we sometimes write a card on the previously mentioned Valentine's Day we were talking about a second ago? I think we do. Do we write them on birthdays and thank you notes and holidays? Sometimes we do, and, and they mean something. And it doesn't have to be a card. It can be an email or a text or a sign outside a window. It's writing, which is feeling, which is sharing, which is connecting. You don't like the text that he sends you good morning and good night when you're half awake or almost asleep? Too bad. You're wrong. He's right. Because he's trying to share that he is thinking of you. And together with you, whether you're in the same room or not, people can often be closer far apart than they are sitting next to each other. It's not that the distance makes them grow fonder. It's that it makes them communicate better and more often. Wish you were here. I miss you. You'll never guess what just happened. I'm thinking about you right now. I love you. It takes seconds or a few minutes, but the gesture and the feeling and the meaning and those words, they go so much deeper and they last so much longer because all of us, we have so many habits and routines in our days and things that we remember and do every single day over and over. Why isn't that a more common one? Why isn't what Ronnie Reagan did a more common thing? Why don't we share more with the people we who we're in a relationship with, or who we want to be in a relationship with, why do we wait for December 25th or February 14th? You want to give someone a gift? You want to make someone feel special? 365 times in the next 365 days, make it a point to communicate how you feel or what you are feeling or what you are thinking or missing or hoping or sharing It goes so much further than a dozen rosins or a box of chocolate. Think about that. Think about them. And let them know. Every day. Always. As far as us, I'm going to let you know what we're coming up on here. Uh, We've got a few different things. One, I am, uh, the Great Love Debate is going to be part of something called Potapalooza. So we are doing um, a live audience version of this podcast, which is different from the live version of this show. When we go on tour, it's a much different thing than when we do this podcast, but we're going to do a couple of Potapaloozas uh, coming up where we are part of a lineup of eight different really fun podcasts, and we're going to be on a stage doing some version of this live. Uh, One is... um, Probably you're going to miss it by the time this drops, but it's uh, January 17th, Martin Luther King Day. Send a card for Martin Luther King Day. I think you can do that. Um, at Beer Garden in Boca Raton, Florida. And the, the other one is right here where I'm recording this now at a place called Comida in Hudson, Ohio. That is on f- January 26th. We also have live shows, our regular good old-fashioned live live shows. We are kicking off our ninth season of the great love debate. So for those of you who are like, I thought you weren't going to do any more seasons. I'm never going to say that again. Never say never. Cause I keep coming back because the demand is there. Um, and things need to be said. So we are February 10th, right before Valentine's day at the Boca black box theater in the aforementioned Boca Raton, Florida tickets are on sale for that one at Boca black or great love debate.com. Um, the very next night, February 11th at, What's it called? Uh, The Kelsey Theater in Lake Park, Florida, which is just north of Palm Beach. It's a really nice theater. Again, go greatlovedebate.com for tickets. March 3rd at the very, very schnazzy City Vineyard on Pier 26th in New York City. So uh, come back to life, New York City, because we are coming to you February 3rd. Shoot us an email, please. Greatlovedebate at gmail.com. 
Let us know all your thoughts, your rituals, and if you are right. So you can write to us as a warm-up to write to your loved one. This is a really good exercise. So write Great Life Debate at Gmail. Get the kinks out. Work it all out in real time uh, and let us know. Most importantly, as always, please like, share, review, follow, all the good stuff. This podcast, we have gotten a lot of really good five-star reviews, and we never take them for granted, even as we are in our eighth year of the podcast, ninth year of the live show, eighth year of the podcast. Uh, And we love them all, because as always, at The Great Love Debate, we never stop making love. See you next time.